Good day, everybody. Once again, we are back together. Uh, just uh, obviously still continuing on that analytical geometry. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, if you're new to the channel, of course, uh, just hit that subscribe button. Uh, please don't hesitate. Just do it now. Okay. Right. And uh, for those of you who may need assistance with uh, mathematics or physical science, you're more than welcome to get in touch with us and our email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za and please don't forget to also hit that notification bell so that you are alerted every time we are posting a new lesson all right so i'm taking another lesson today on uh, analytical geometry and this time we are discussing perpendicular bisectors all right and it says well determine the equation of the perpendicular bisector of pq given that p is minus two and two and Q is 6 and 6, all right? And of course, we'll deal with the second one that says show uh, uh, that any point on, on the perpendicular bisector of PQ is equidistant from PQ. Now, here you're dealing with a question that does not necessarily have a sketch or a diagram, okay? So the first thing that I would um, advise you to do is try to draw a diagram for yourself Okay, so let's try to do that. Okay, so drawing a Cartesian plane quickly there. Right, so the point P and Q, they said it's minus 2 and 2. So it's where X is minus 2 and Y is 2. And then this is point P and they said Q is 6 and 6. Okay, so there it is there. Okay, so that's 6 and 6, and we said here is minus 2 and 2. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to connect those dots together. Okay, so there's our line there, right? Now, first of all, they said to us we must look for the equation of a perpendicular bisector. So, first of all, what that simply means is that when we say perpendicular, we're saying we want a line that is going to form a 90 degree angle with PQ. So it must, that line must form a 90 degree angle. Secondly, they said a bisector. So means it means that um, if we were to call just for argument's sake, uh, let's just say uh, we call uh, that side there. Uh, let's call it point M, okay? So let's call it point M. So in this case, M should be a point such that that perpendicular bisector, bisect just means it cuts it into two equal sides. So in this case, what it simply means is that MQ should be equal to PM, okay? So those two sides should be equal. So essentially, we are looking for the equation of this line here, okay? That forms the 90 degrees, and secondly, that cuts the line into two equal parts. All right, now let's do that quickly. Right, so first of all, let's deal with the perpendicular part. Okay, let me just leave some space here. Right, let's deal with the perpendicular part, right? How do we deal with the fact that it is perpendicular? So meaning I'm going to look for the gradient of PQ first. So gradient of PQ should be Y2 minus Y1 uh, over X2 minus X1. And so this is going to be, okay, let's take that as X2, Y2. Let's take that as X1, Y1. Right, so y2 would be 6 minus, okay, our y2 is 2 divided by, okay, where x or y was 6, x was also 6, and our y1 in this case, that's minus a negative 2. Please uh, just make sure that you get that correct, right? So this is 6 minus 2, so that's y2 minus y1, x2. Uh, x1 is minus 2, so in this case we've got uh, 6 minus 2, that gives us 4, and then of course 6 minus a negative 2, that will give us 8, and so 
our gradient is 1 over 2. Now, obviously for the line that is perpendicular, what it means is that the gradient of that perpendicular bisector, um, okay, let me just give it a name, let's call it MN. Okay, so the gradient of MN should actually be um, we said we take the inverse, remember whenever you've got a line that is an inverse, um, it, it, I mean uh, that is a, 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 a perpendicular line, um, so in this case it means that the gradient must be an inverse with a changed sign. So what's the inverse of 1 over 2? It's 2 over 1 which is equal to 2, okay? And remember we said with a changed sign, so in this case it must be negative 2. Remember, why is that? Because remember, whenever I have two lines that are perpendicular, it means that the product of the gradient MPQ multiplied by the gradient of uh, MN must actually give me negative 1. Okay, so you'll see if I take 1 over 2 multiplied by negative 2 over 1, in this case, which is negative 2, that gives me negative 1. So please remember, uh, all you just simply do is just uh, to change the sign and uh, invert the fraction okay to get the other uh, to get the other gradient right now we know that the gradient of our perpendicular bisector is 2 minus 2 rather so now we can say well y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 but we need a point where this line passes through and in this case it would be logical for us to find that point m there and how do we find m m would be the midpoint in fact let me just do it over there uh, so that it's easy for us to do okay so m would be the midpoint uh, of point pq so let's find the midpoint there Remember, when we find the midpoint, we're going to take the x values and we add them, we divide by 2. So that would be minus 2. Uh, I'm not sure if that green is perfectly visible. That's minus 2 plus 6 over 2. And our y value there would be 2, that 2 there, plus the 6 divided by 2. So what we actually get for those values uh, I end up with the value of m uh, being, so minus 2 plus 6, that would give us 4, uh, divided by 2, that gives us 2, and then 2 plus 6, that's uh, 8, divided by 2, that gives us 4. So the coordinates of m, all right, which is that point over there, the midpoint is 2 and 4. So now we can do that. We can uh, just put that there. So that would be y minus our y1. We put the coordinates of m and remember we said it's 4. And which is m, which is minus 2, uh, x minus uh, y1, which is 2. I mean x1 rather, which is 2. And so the equation would be y minus 4 is equal to minus 2x uh, plus 4, negative 2 times negative 2. And so you get y is equal to minus 2x. If I take the four, negative 4 to the other side, it becomes positive. And so that becomes plus 8. Alternatively, of course, you could have used that y is equal to minus 2x plus c. And what you do is that you substitute the points uh, 2 and 4. And so where we see y, we put 4. And where we see x, we put, uh, sorry, uh, we put 2. Okay, and plus C, and we work out the value of C. Negative 2 times 2 will give us negative 4. If I take it to the other side, it becomes positive 4, and so it will be 4 plus 4, and that gives us 8. You'll see that you end up with the same value. Right, minus 2x plus 8, right. So now, this is the equation of our perpendicular bisector. Okay, so I want you to please note, whenever you want the equation of a perpendicular bisector, of course, in this case, we found the midpoint and we found, in this case, um, uh, the gradient uh, of our perpendicular bisector. Um, uh, you know, because it's perpendicular, we just inverted 
and we change the sign. All right. Now let's go to the next question. They say show that any point on the perpendicular bisector of PQ is equidistant. Okay. Meaning that, you know, as the word, uh, you know, expresses itself, it's equal distances from P to Q. Now, meaning if we were to take any point, okay, let's take that point there. Um, I don't know what you want to call that point. Let's call it point O, right? Now, point O is a point on that perpendicular bisector. So in this case, they are saying if we were to take point O on that line, which is a perpendicular bisector, it would be equidistant from O or from Q, but also um, it would be the same distance to P. So meaning it would be the same distance, uh, OQ would be equal to OP. And we need to prove that. They want us to prove, to show that that perpendicular bisector is, uh, or any point on that perpendicular bisector. By the way, it could have been a point there, okay? Uh, if you chose a point there, it should be equi equidistant uh, from O to P. So, uh, I mean, uh, in this case, from whatever the perpendicular bisector is to Q and from that line again to P as well. All right, now, I've taken O as just a random point, right? Now, I want you to keep in mind, what is the, what are the coordinates of O? It's X and Y. But remember that the Y value uh, on this perpendicular bisector is actually this equation here, minus 2X plus 8. So instead of writing a Y, I can say the coordinates of O are X and minus 2x plus 8. So those are my coordinates there. I hope that makes sense. So now I want to prove um, OQ and OP to be equal to each other. Now let's find OP first. So OP squared, okay, would be now in this case, uh, remember that's the distance formula, but in this case I'm taking the square of it so that would be, remember, the distance formula. You just simply say x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, right? So let's take the coordinates of what we already know. We said we're looking for OP, okay? So if you don't mind, let's take this one as our x2, y2, uh, and this one as our x1, and y1 right so our x2 is x right minus a negative 2 so that's x minus a negative 2 but remember this is squared plus our y2 remember we said our y2 is that value there so minus 2x plus 8 minus our y1, which is 2, okay? So that's minus 2x plus 8 minus 2. This is squared, okay? Right, so in this case, what we are simply doing is we're simply going to say this is x minus or x plus 2 squared plus, now let's simplify this. So this is going to be minus 2x, minus 2x, uh, plus, um, so that's 8 minus 2, um, which is going to be 6, okay, uh, squared. Now, which means OP squared would be now equal to uh, x squared plus 4x, now obviously we're expanding, uh, plus 4x plus 4, and then plus, we're going to have 4x squared. Now, I want you to please note, for the middle term, you multiply this to that, multiplied by 2. So we're going to say minus 2x times 6, which is going to be minus 12x, okay? Multiplied by 2, which is going to be minus 24x. So 
minus 24x and then of course 6 squared is 36 okay right so now we've got 5x squared okay so we're taking the x squared terms that's 4x um, minus 24x that would be minus 20x okay and we've got 4 plus 36 this is plus 40 okay so this is the value of op squared okay right now in this case let's go for the next one so that's an expression for op squared we want to now prove that uh, op squared is equal to oq squared so again we're going to do the same thing there so um yeah let me just remove these so that they are not confusing okay so let's take that as our x2 y2 let's take that as our x1 uh, x1 and y1 okay so we're going to do the same thing okay so now we're going for oq so o q squared again this would be x right remember x value is x so this would be x minus remember our x2 uh, x1 rather is 6 so it's x minus 6 and that uh, minus 2x plus 8 minus 6 again so that would be x minus 6 squared plus minus 2x plus 8 minus 6 squared right so let's do that quickly so this would be x squared minus 12x plus 36 okay uh, plus uh, in this case all right we should have actually simplified that first um, so you've got minus 2x uh, plus 2 um, squared okay so we end up with x squared minus 12x plus 36 okay plus 4x squared right again for the middle term you say that multiplied by that minus 2x uh, times uh, 2 which is minus 4x times 2 which is minus 8x right okay plus 4 and um, as a result We've got 5x squared, um, now minus, so this minus 12x minus 8x is minus 20x, and then plus, that's 36 plus 4, that would be plus 40. So that's the value of OQ squared. Now, keep in mind, we found that to be the same as exactly that. So what can we now conclude? So in this case, we found OP squared to be equal to o, uh, OQ squared. And so as a result, therefore, it means that OP is equal to uh, OQ. Okay. I keep making that error there uh, is equal to OQ. All right. Um, so that is, in fact, how you are going to tackle that question there. And um, that's how the cookie crumbles when it comes to perpendicular bisectors. Right, and I just want to leave it there. And of course, if you still haven't subscribed or if you're not convinced yet that you should stay on this channel, please always do that. Just hit that subscribe button. Okay, hopefully this uh, lesson was enough to convince you. All right, and then uh, um, obviously uh, just hit that notification bell as well. Uh, and of course, you're always welcome to get in touch with us. Otherwise, from me for now, I'll see you guys next time. Shop shop.